matter where you find yourself, uh, no matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life. How's it going today, squallies? Welcome to the Joel Hole Podcast. Another segment where I'm going to talk about the Donald Trump assassination attempt. All right. So, do I think that it's fake or staged like, you know, these drunk idiots seem to believe? No. Um, I think there's some legitimacy behind all of the event, but I do see that a lot of people are criticizing the way the Secret Services responded to it. And you know what? I think that's a reasonable criticism to me because there should have been a Secret Service member inside of every building around the event. And, you know, a couple of things about it seem fishy. Uh, for example, uh, you didn't have any you seemingly didn't have any metal uh, metal uh, detectors at the event and you know the shooter did never enter the event in the first place so you have an issue there but you know if they really wanted to make future Trump rallies safer uh, there needs to be more heightened security and you know uh, yeah, that's about it for that, I think. But it's a shame that a former president was unnecessarily injured. And, you know, um, I'm still thinking about voting for him uh, come election time uh, because I don't want to see Joe Biden in the Oval Office anymore. Um... And I'm sorry if that disappoints any Democratic squallies out there, but you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, because when Trump was president in his last election, all I remember is not worrying about a lot of stuff that I have to think about now. And, you know, it just puts a lot of pressure on the rest of America when we appear vulnerable to other countries and when trump was in office uh you know people didn't fear an attack from outside countries but now that all this stuff is going on people are suddenly spurging out about another civil war possibly which thankfully trump lived and, you know, there's not that big of a risk of a civil war at this moment, thankfully. And I hope, you know, the sense of division stops in America and we become more, you know, you formed as a people at the end of the day. And, you know, all this is like this uh, utopian ideals, but, you know. If you don't believe in something, then what's the point in living the rest of your life? But this is Rick, and I'm recording from my bunker. But don't worry about me, because I got all my supplies ready uh, set aside just in case of a nuclear apocalypse or a civil war happens. Uh, I got my tools, I got my equipment, and so that's partially why um, the concern is fading for me a little bit, and if I don't have the tools at the moment, um, then at some point I'll make, a, I'll make a sexy list of everything that I need and get everything on said list, because I'm just that type of person, and you know, um, at the end of the day, uh, Trump survived, uh, Matthew Thomas Crook's attack, and I have a lot more respect for him for that, 
And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if the average American felt that way at this moment, but it's a shame and I find it disgusting that, you know, these Democrats and liberals think, think that it's a staged or faked event. Because it's almost like you're getting to the point where you have to ask them, how many people have to die before a shooting is real? And that's tragic for America. But, you know, it is what it is. And you squallies have a wonderful rest of your day.